Firefighters in Danville will soon have access to bulletproof vests. The fire chief requested money for the vest earlier this year. Now, this comes as an Ohio firefighter recovers after being shot last night while on a call. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstead has the story. Currently, this is the only bulletproof vest that the fire department has. It's worn by the fire marshal, but the department has purchased 57 more vests at a cost of about $30,000, and they are expected to arrive next week. Trying to get things started to get this on the truck uh, is, is important. There will now be one vest for every seat in the department's vehicles. Chief David Eagle says the Ohio firefighter being shot in the leg last night at the scene of a fire emphasizes the need for vests. And given the close calls the department has had in the past, he says the vests are a welcome idea for most of the firefighters. We had an EMS call where we were called to check on a, a patient that was unresponsive and hadn't uh, Nobody had seen him for several days, and so we had to make entry into the house, and he shot into the door. Firefighters have also had shots fired in the area of a call they were on. Fire Marshal Richie Gwill says the vest is cumbersome, but he likes having the opportunity to wear it. I've worn, worn the vest for uh, a few years now. And um, it, it does give you uh, that added sense of uh, security. For firefighters, though, the vest could be even more cumbersome because of all of the other gear they're already wearing. But Gwill says that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And Chief Eagle says that was taken into account when deciding which vests to purchase. They make the vests now that they're, they're zipped in the, in the front. You can open them up and get some cool air in them and be able to cool off. The vests are expected to be put into service around the beginning of the year. In Danville, Colter and Stanton, WSLS 10.